Hello, my name is Katie Barton with Factory Direct Crafts. I hope you enjoy the tutorial that we have for you today. Hello, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this cute little basalt container. First, I'm going to go over a few things that you'll need to make this craft. You're going to want to buy some Epsom salts. You'll need a, a glass jar or a container to hold your Epsom salts in. A cork to seal the top to keep them fresh. A funnel. Some food coloring. Today I've chosen to use blue. And some beads and jewelry wire to make a little decoration for your uh, bath salts. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to measure your Epsom salts into your container. So I use a funnel just to make sure they all go into the same place. You're just going to open your container and pour them in. And once you've filled it to the top, you can go ahead and pour in the last Epsom salts. And you want to seal it with your cork. Perfect fit. The next thing you'll want to do is you're going to pour them into the plastic bag. Stump them all in. And you're going to add a few drops of food coloring. A little goes a long way, so use sparingly. I like to do two to three drops to give it a nice amount of color. And there's one and two. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to seal your plastic bag. And we're going to go ahead and mix it all together. As you can see, a little bit of color goes a long way. And you'll just want to shake it until it's evenly dispersed. Also at this step, if you would like to do so, you can add uh, some smelly things to make it smell really good. Um, I choose to stay away from the oils because some people uh, can have allergic reactions to them. So if you're giving them as gifts, it's best to just use the food coloring. The next step is you're going to pour it back into the glass container. Just like so. Perfect. And you're going to shake it around. There we go. And you're going to go ahead and put a seal on the top. Uh, these basalts are great because they can last up to two years uh, before they go bad. So uh, if you want to give it as a present, you have a long time. They're great to make and then just have around to give for any occasion. Uh, the final step that we're going to do today is we're going to make this look cute by adding a little bit of decor. And so what I did is I chose jewelry wire and I strung some of my favorite beads onto it. And I put uh, little clamps at the end of each to hold the beads on to the jewelry wire. And what you'll do is you'll just wrap it around the bottle right at the neck. And I like to crisscross the jewelry wire just so it keeps the fit on nice and tight so it won't fall off. And there we go. And there it is, your bath salts. It is perfect uh, gift to give for any occasion or craft to make with little kids or anyone uh, because it's usable and it's really easy. I hope you have fun experimenting with this craft and get to try it out for yourself. Have a great day, everybody.